Good evening, everybody. You're on board the Gospel Train. I'm Sharon Rucker. It is time for our message and prayer. I'm excited tonight because our messenger tonight is going to be Pastor Veronica Mentor. She is from Nashville, Tennessee. I see she is already on um, line, everybody. I can see you out there, Pastor Mentor. Just hang on. I'm going to bring you on in just a minute or two. Those of you that are coming on Facebook, help me. Click your like buttons. Click your share button. If you're coming on the site, SharonRucker.com, all you have to do is send a text, send an email, call somebody, tell them to get on SharonRucker.com. We will get started in about a minute, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining us. Hey, everybody. Click your like, click your share, and if you have not posted your name for prayer, you need to do that. Right? Hang on. <clears throat> oh, my throat. I have been coughing today. I hope I'm not trying to get the cold. Watch out. I got some water here in front of me, everybody. Y'all pray for me, all right? Okay. Here we go. time is eight o'clock. You're on board the gospel train. want to welcome everybody. Thank you to everybody that's coming on SharonRucker.com. I always like to briefly tell you all that once you get to that page, you will not hear the music. There are boxes you have to click. All right, everybody. In fact, I think there are exactly three. So follow the prompts. When it says click here to listen live, if there's a player, you got to keep clicking until you hear sound, till you hear talking, music, you got to keep clicking, everybody. Those of you that are coming on Facebook, all you have to do, all you got to do is just hit the share button and help me. Uh, I want to say hello to a lot of you out there. I see Francis out there. Uh, I see a lot of you all hovering. Come on into the room, everybody. Stop hovering. Come on into the room so you can be blessed tonight, all right? All right, everybody, I'm going to lower this music, and we're going to bring Pastor Mentor into the room with us. So let's lower everything, and we can get started. So let me bring this music down, and we will bring her on into the room with us. Hello, Pastor Mentor. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I, I am wonderful. Thank you so much for volunteering to do this for us tonight. I have just been waiting uh, all day for you to call in because uh, I just know that we're going to be blessed tonight. So, again, I thank you so much. I thank my family. I thank my niece, Deidre. Uh, I understand you all are very good friends. And Deidre says you all talk almost every day because I call myself. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I call myself trying to send her uh, a text last night telling her don't forget she said i already know she said <laughs> <laughs> she said she's not gonna forget she called me today and she's excited i think she's even more excited than i am and so i am just blessed tonight and just honored to, to even be considered to, to be on so i am just thankful to be on tonight well i am just grateful to you my sister-in-law is listening marguerite and she just sent me a text she said she was enjoying the music before i came on so listen everybody this is a 24-hour <laughs> station we have music for everybody we've got jazz instrumental gospel jazz we've got urban and contemporary we go back to james cleveland we've got albertina walker everything you want is on this station 24 hours so if you all just listen you will be blessed Pastor Mantor, tell everybody a little bit about you and uh, who you are, what you do, and we'll get started. So go right ahead. Amen. Amen. Uh, again, of course, my name is uh, Veronica Mentor, Pastor. I'm an assistant pastor at Bass Street Missionary Baptist Church, where I serve under a great pastor, senior pastor, Daryl A. Thompson, Sr. Uh, we also have a great youth pastor there, um, Joshua McMahon, who is, comes by way of uh, Miami, Florida to us, and we just love him as well. And so uh, I have been there uh, with Bass Street Missionary Baptist Church since 2009 when I was called into the ministry. 
And uh, we are now located on uh, 3447 Brick Church Pike in Nashville, Tennessee. And we are just doing great things in the Lord. We're just building up the kingdom. We're doing kingdom things, and we just love people, and we're just reaching out to people uh, and just trying to give people Jesus. That's what we're giving them. Jesus. Well, all right. So we just, we just, we just doing it. That's what we're doing now. And so uh, I'm a married, and I, I have a mother of six, and so uh, I have six adult children. Wow. And I'm blessed, and God has really been good to me. Amen. Amen. And you say you're the mother of six adult children. That's all right. I have. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I have all right. five girls and one son. Glory. Well, listen, yes, I'm just, will. I'm excited to have you on tonight. Uh, this probably won't be your last time. So uh, I feel like I know you now because <laughs> we have, we've been talking to everybody for about a week or two. So I, 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 I can't, <laughs> I can't remember you. I can't. But that's okay. But if and when we get back to Nashville, when this uh, virus and pandemic comes down, hopefully maybe we can meet. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. And I, I remember being at your house. I think I came down with Vico one year. Uh, we came down for some family event, but that's been a, it's been a long time ago. Yes, it has. Like you said, maybe we will reconnect and meet again after all of this uh some of this stuff we're going through settles down that's exactly right well listen i'm going to turn this over to you and um if you are ready to get started go right ahead all right amen good evening everyone i thank god for the opportunity uh that miss sharon has allowed me to come on and the platform that she's given me and uh, I have been in much prayer about tonight and what God, uh, I, my, my heart is, is I never want, I only want to say what God uh, has to say. And I only want to minister what the Lord, what the Holy Spirit uh, is wanting the people to hear at this time. And I know we are going through some very difficult times right now. Uh, if we turn on, all you have to do is turn on the news and you see so many things. I think we have a, have had a uh, earthquake in Haiti yes. and we've got, all the things that are going on in the Middle East with the Taliban, Taliban, and then we have, of course, we're in our own country and doing a pandemic. And so there is so much going on. And I have been in prayer, intercessory prayer. And, you know, I know people are looking, they're looking for prophets and people to give them a deep word and yes. give them something that's just, uh, you know, they're looking for something, really something just really deep. And Lord, what are you going to, what are you saying in this season? And what are you doing in this season? And mm. so God, I've been praying that God took me back to one, there's something that, and it's, it's deep. It's deep. And, but we don't think about it, it, it like it's deep, but it's deep. And I'm going to tell you what God told me. He said, to, and, and it's going to be a very familiar passage of scripture that I'm going to uh, use tonight. If you if you do have your Bibles, of course, it's a very familiar scripture. You could probably recite it uh, by heart. But it's Second Chronicles, and it's seven uh, Second Chronicles seven fourteen, and and the scripture simply says this: If my people all right, who are all right. called by my name, yes, will humble themselves mm. and pray, yes, and seek my face mm. and turn from their wicked ways, all then right, will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin. And will heal their land. Yes. And so the the deep, the deep word is is that what we're what we are to be doing in this season is to be praying. That's right. God said that it's to, it's prayer is what He's looking for. Prayer is our connection to God. Yes. Prayer yes. is our it's our connection. It is our it is when we speak to God and we can we we don't visibly see God but we know He's there and prayer is our avenue to speak to Him. All right. And so with that tonight, I just want to talk a little bit about prayer. Prayer is an awesome privilege. Mm. It is an it is it's our approach to God. Yes. And we are instructed to God. We are instructed by Hebrews four. 14 through 16 to come to him boldly. Yes, yes. Sometimes the devil will make us feel unworthy mm. to come to God, asking him to meet our needs. He'll try to all remind right. us of all the things we've done. All right, we all right. We coming to God and what you did last night, what you did last week, and you're just not worthy. Yes, he yes. He would love to interrupt our prayer time with, with God. Mm. But the Bible clearly tells us to come to him, God boldly yes some, some of us you know, we, we gotta come boldly and 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 god he's, he's not concerned about come to him with whatever it is that's 
That's right. Whatever you do, bring it to him. Our weaknesses, our struggles, whatever it is God is instructing us to come to him boldly. Yes. Prayer is our avenue to God. James 5 and 16 says that the effectual fervent prayer availeth much. Hmm. What is a fervent? And what is an, what is an effectual and fervent prayer? It is a passionate prayer. Yes. It is a heartfelt felt prayer. Prayer. It is a powerful prayer. Yes. It is a prayer that you put your whole heart into it. And it says that when you pray this way, guess what will happen? It will accomplish much. All right. It will All accomplish right. much. So prayer is that avenue. Prayer is our connection to God. And so in this time where we're experiencing so much uh, so much going on, so many, so, so many things that we, some of us have never experienced. We've never lived through a pandemic, amen? So what do we need to do during the pandemic? Pray. And when you pray, guess what God says? Hmm. Pray again. All right, Hallelujah. all right, all right. And you know, <laughs> yes, a half-hearted hmm. prayer will not be effective. Yes. We've got to pray. And we're, and we're, it's really easy to pray about what concerns us concerns us. Yes. But we've yes. got to become like Jesus and become compassionate. All and right. Not only just to be concerned about ourselves, uh sister, sister Sarah, but to be concerned about others. And yes. To pray yes. For others. yes. We see this this air, this uh, earthquake that has devastated Haiti. We should be on our knees before God and asking God to have mercy on them. All and right. We should be praying for mm. those that have that have survived. Yes. And we should yes. be on our face and praying. You may not, maybe COVID has not entered your home, but it's entered someone else's That's home. That's right. You That's right. You should be on your knees praying that God would intervene and heal and raise up. Mm. And that not only when he raises up, there's a message behind what God is doing. Mm. God wants uh, people to understand that this is just not for naught that we're going through this pandemic. Yes. God is trying to get our attention. And we, when we're going through something, we should always do our self-examination. And when we're praying, God, what is it that you're trying to get me to see? God, what is it that you want me to do? Yes. God, what is yes. it? What is yes. it that I need to do? And, and, and not only that, we make, we make prayer a one-way, uh, we make it one way. We get up, we say what we want to say, and get up off of our knees, and we go. But mm. we don't sit. Sit after we pray. All right. All God right. And listen for a reply. Amen? All right. Amen. So when we pray, we should come, we always, we always come with reverence because God is our king and he is our maker. All right. So when the scripture says come boldly, we are to come with him with bold assurance. Yes. Because we believe God, God loves us mm -hmm. and not only loves us, but he hears us. And not only does he hear us, he will answer us. Yes. That's what assurance yes. means. Yes. It means you love me. I know that he loves me because he loves me. He hears me. And because he hears me, he will answer me. That's right. That's one right. Of the, one of the, one of the, the real uh, things about prayer is this. We have to understand how much God really loves us. Yes. And I know sometimes we, we, we say John 3, 16, and we, just, it's just like, and we do it by memory. But I think we have to really understand the depth and the height of God's love for us as his people. Yes. So you can understand that. That's when, how you can go to him boldly. Why? Because you understand that God loves me. God is on my side. All God right. Is All right. Me. Greater is he that is within me than he that is within the world. Mm. I'm more than a conqueror. Why? Yes. Because God loves me. Mm. And so me understanding the love of God. No, it makes me, I can ask, I feel that like I can ask God for whatever concerns me and whatever concerns me concerns God. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. Yes. And so I'm going to bring this little point here. P prayer is an opportunity to bring our will into the, into, into line with God's plan. And All God's right. Will. All right. We can even see that even Jesus, when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, uh, you can read that in Luke 22 and 42. When he was in the, the Garden of Gethsemane, when his things got really, the, the assignment got very difficult. And he was beginning to feel the weight and the pressure of his assignment in his flesh. And and, and, and he began the prayer and he, he started the prayer out and said, Oh God, if you could just take this cup from me. Because see, he was out, he was God, but yet he was not out. This God mm. he was also human. Yes. And he began to feel the pressure and the weight of the assignment. And he wanted to, if God would take it. But even though he, he felt that way, he knew. He said, but God, not my will, but thy 
will be done. And so many times we want to pull God over into our will. All and right. Not all right. Our, we, our, what we need up with God's hmm. will. Hmm. We, truly, we have mixed wants and desires. But at the end of the day, our desire, we need to line our desires and our will up with God's will. Why? Because we are human, and what happens to us a lot of times, Sister Sharon, is this. We are driven by our emotions That's and right. our feelings. That's right. That's right. They, they cloud our judgment so many times. They'll cloud our judgment so many times, and a lot of times it can lead us down the wrong path. Mm. Mm. Another thing is this. Prayer reflects our dependence on God. The Bible encourages us to ask and even to plead for our most personal and important requests. Yes. God wants to grant our request. He wants to grant our request. That's right. But he wants us to ask. He wants us to ask him. Sometimes we may think that God God may say wait. We think that means no. Hmm. Sometimes the wait is not a no, but it's this. Sometimes God says this. He wants to understand. He wants to deepen our insight into what we really need. That's if right. This That's right. You really need, question that desire because I'm going to tell you something. Satan is a sneaky and tricky devil. All right. And all waiting. right. He put, he, and that's right. He operates in our feelings all mm. the time and he will put something and dangle something into in our face and make us believe it from God. So God gives us the opportunity to, to, to deepen our insight into what we really need. Yes. Number two yes. reason why sometimes he asks us to wait is Sometimes it's to broaden our appreciation for what God has already done in our life. Hmm. Sometimes we're just like the, the 21st century children, I say. They get so much all the time when Christmas comes, they just open a package and throw it to the side. They open all another right. package and throw it to the side. God wants us to appreciate and to be thankful for where we are, for what we have already. What That's we right. Have, That's what right. We or have now, and then when you are a preacher, then God knows you appreciate what he has, he can give you more. And the third thing that God may tell us to wait sometimes, sometimes the wait is to allow us to mature so we can use whatever we're asking God for wisely. Yes. We yes. Sometimes we want a million dollars, as my mm. pastor would say, <laughs> but we don't even have a billion dollar mindset. We All right. Have All a right. We don't have a billion dollar mindset. Okay. All right. And so we would get a million dollars and blow it because we are not wise. We're not mature enough to know what to do with a million dollars. Amen. 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 And so my final thought here, Sister Sharon, is remember this: prayer is so always better than complaining. Mm. Let's not be like the children of Israel. After God brought them out of Egypt, they begin to complain. They begin to doubt God's ability to take care of them. Do we doubt God? Uh, God's ability to take care of us? I know we're All in a right. pandemic. All I right. know some things are going on. But guess what? Do you really believe God can take care of us? That's right. Do you believe he can take care of you? Sure we do. There are things, yes, in the natural that we have to do to not be foolish and to be wise. Yes. But God yes. is a God. Of, he's our creator. He's our maker. He's our king. And he certainly can take care of us. That's right. That's Some right. problems can be solved by careful thought or maybe rearranging our priorities sometimes. Sometimes we just we, we just can we can give some things, we can solve some of our minor problems with just thinking them through or mm. rearranging priorities. But some can only be solved by prayer. Some problems can only be solved by prayer. That's right. We should be determined to pray when we feel like complaining. Complaining only raises our level of stress. Prayer quiet prayer quiets our thoughts and our emotions and prepares us to be able to listen for God's reply. My God my my each and every one of you. Glory. My and my. Pastor Mentor, you have truly blessed us. Oh, I have a lot of people out here listening tonight. Thank you, everybody. Those of you oh, that are God on, bless. we have God a lot bless. of people out here on my site and on Facebook. I see uh, Pastor Deloach is out here from Nashville. And there was another guy. I don't know if you all know him. He's a musician. His name is Ralph Lofton. He's a musician in Nashville. If he's still out there, if I do I have permission to play your music uh Online, I can only do it when I'm not. Uh, everybody, he is an awesome, awesome musician in Nashville. But I have to get Amen. permission, and I see him out there because let me tell you what Facebook will do. 
they they they'll they'll mute my music. So I'm almost scared. <laughs> <laughs> so he's out there, but I have I play his music, but I don't play it when I have a video going on everybody. I better leave that alone, right. Ralph. I'm scared. I don't want this because a lot of people share this video. So I see you out there, but I, I'm scared to do it. But Pastor Mitchell, we thank okay. you so very much. You you just bless my heart and my soul tonight. So I am just truly okay. grateful. Thank you, thank you so very much. Do you have some people that you want to uh, pray for, some names you want to call out? I've got some if you want to go first. Uh, sure. Let me... Uh... I will definitely, my daughter and her uh, husband, uh, actually, they are uh, battling COVID right now. Mm. So God has, they are recovering, uh, but I would like to keep them in prayer. Um, so I would love to keep them on the prayer list. And also, uh, just my church family, uh, you know, and my mother, uh, my, my biological mother, keep her in prayer. And just uh, my family in general, and just the... Uh, you know, and the children as they as they are returning to school, yes. we want to keep them covered in prayer. That's right. Amen. That's right. Uh, I have a, a morning crew, everybody. I say good morning to people, and all of these people are all on this list. It's not very long, but let me just call out the few names I have. I'm going to be praying for those of you that I can see on Facebook. I see uh, Pastor Deloach and Francis Parks. Pray for Francis. Uh, she told me she's having surgery on the 24th, so pray, Francis, we will be praying for you. She lives in Chattanooga. Also praying tonight for Regina Mentor, Denise Booker, Marlene Smith, John Kellogg, James Donald Sr., LaJuan Gray, Johnny Harris, Rosa Mead, Vanessa Walker, Ronnie Chandler, I'm sorry, Ronnie Smith, Mary George, um, Lady Ladd, Willie Thomas, uh, Jerry Upton, Roy, um, Joy Rickle, and also I'm going to put my husband and, and me on the list as well and my family as well. Those of you that are coming on Facebook, I see you. I see your faces, but I can't really see your names. We're going to be praying for you as well. And, and everybody that's on my site, just know God knows what you need. He knows what you're going through and what you desire. So Pastor Mitchell, when you get ready, you can lead us in prayer. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this avenue, Father God, that you have yes, provided. Yes. Lord God, that we can reach out and touch so many, even though we're not close. Lord That's God. right. That's God, right. we also know that there is no distance in the spirit realm, Father God. So God, we know that we can pray here and God, you can bless way over there. God. That's right. So God, tonight, God, we are, you've heard the names that have been given out tonight, God, and you know the need of each and every one that name that has been called out. You know every yes, situation, Lord. God. And God, we're asking you tonight, God, to touch as only you can touch, mm. to deliver as only you can deliver, yes, to Jesus. provide as only you can provide, God. God, we thank you tonight, God, <laughs> that we have that assurance that we're coming to you boldly, yes, God, Lord. asking you these things, God, knowing that you're hearing us tonight, God, knowing that you're going to answer us, mm. oh God. Why? Because you love us tonight, yes, God. Yes. God, we've come against this spirit of corona, God, that has touched this land and those that are suffering and sick right now, God, we ask yes, you Lord. to heal and to set them free and to raise them up, oh God, in mm. the name of Jesus. Yes, God, allow yes. them to have a testimony, Father God, that you healed and you delivered them, Father, That's in right. the name of Jesus. God, all of those that are suffering all over the land, God, in Haiti, God, we ask yes, you God. To, God, to move by your spirit, God, to send the help there, God, that they need, Father, in this time, yes, God. Lord. And yes, God, Lord. and we will be careful as the people and the children of God to give you the praise and to give you the glory, God. Yes, because we yes. know that if it were not for your son, Jesus, none of it would be possible. That's so, right. God, we thank you tonight, and we're asking it all in your son, Jesus' name. Mm. Amen and amen. 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 Now, everybody, amen. Uh, Pastor Mentor did my one of my, I have many favorites. But I'm going to have to tell it one more time. She said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and restore their land. Yes. Everybody, that's one of my favorite scriptures. When you said you were getting ready to read Amen. Second Chronicles, I said, oh, Lord. I said, that's that's one of my favorite <laughs> scriptures. All right? Because I, sometimes I, I go off with that. So th thank you so much that's for that scripture. Thank you. I see Dietrich out here. Hey, Dietrich. 
Dietrich is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor I Mitchell, know. thank you. Uh, again, I will probably be calling on you again. So uh, now that we know Maybe each not. other, uh, I may not be your best buddy, but I'm one of your buddies now. So I'll yeah, probably call. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, also, uh, Pastor um, Deloach was asking that we pray for her pastor as well in her church. So I didn't get it in, but I did see it after you typed it, Sonia. I'm sorry. But everybody, thank Amen. you all. Those of you that are on site, thank you all so very much. Now, here's what I want you to do, Pastor Mentor. When you get one and we hang up, I'm going to play a song. I can only play music by myself when I'm live. So I always go off with the song. Okay. So you tune in when we hang up. But thank you so very much. God bless you. Stay safe and thank keep your you. mask on. All right? I, I wear, wear it everywhere I go. <laughs> thank you so much. And I appreciate the opportunity. And God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Good night. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Good night. Everybody, I am so grateful to uh, my niece, Dietro. She's out here watching. Um, she uh, is the one that asked Pastor Mentor if she would like to call in. Now, you, all you know, I told you there are five Mondays in August. I did not know that until last week, everybody. So, guess what? I don't have anybody for next week. Okay? So, we got somebody listening out there and watching. I need somebody on the 23rd, which is next Monday at 8 p.m. to do exactly what Pastor Mentor did. And she truly blessed us, everybody, because uh, we have a lot of people out here on my site and on Facebook as well. So thank you all, those of you that are out there. Now, listen, here's what you got to do. You got to click your like button, click your share, put it on anybody's wall that you need to put it on that needs to be blessed. Because listen, everybody, we're going through some things in this, in this world right now. There are a lot of things happening. But those of you who don't keep up with the news, there have been 1,300 people die from the um, earthquake in Haiti. And I think the number is climbing. I mean, Haiti cannot catch a break. I'm serious, everybody. So we, we, we just need we just need to pray. We need to humble ourselves and pray so that God will heal our land, everybody. She told you that at the beginning when she read the scripture. That's what we got to do. We got to do that. We're going to go off tonight um, with a song, everybody, that I do a version of uh it was written by Tasha Cobb and a gentleman that she sings with. But I'm going to go off with my version of everybody. You all know it. It just simply says, you know my name. And by the way, everybody, this is one of the songs on my CD. So those of you who have not purchased a CD, you need to get one. You're going to be blessed if you do. Uh, this, this little version of my version of you know my name is on there. Thank you all so very much. I'm going to get it on. The time is 827. You've been listening to our message and prayer on Sharon Rucker's Gospel Train. Our messenger tonight was Pastor Veronica Mentor of Nashville, Tennessee. She has blessed us. And listen, those of you who want to actually see it, this will be uploaded to YouTube a little later tonight. So all you have to do is go to my wall. I have a wall out there on YouTube. And you can also go out there and listen on YouTube as well. So I'll make sure that it gets loaded up tonight. Again, thank you all so very much. Thank you, everybody. Let me load this. I'm going to load this tonight. I'm sorry. I'm, let, me, let me start this, rather, the song for tonight. I'm going to load the video. Um, it has to... It has to... Uh, get on Facebook first, however long that takes, and then I'll be able to load it probably around 9 or 9.30, alright? For those of you who want to send the link to somebody, you can do that. Alright guys, hang on.
everybody. I'm going to go off with me doing a little bit of You Know My Name. Be blessed, everybody. Be blessed.
love that song. That's my version of You Know My Name. That's one of the songs on uh, my CD. If you have not purchased a CD, you really, really need to get a copy. There are 23 songs. They're short songs, but there are 23 of them. Um, you can use my cash apps. I use Cash App. I use PayPal and Zelle. So you can use any of those apps and I will send it to you. If you're in Knoxville, a lot of people have been coming by, but I will send it to you. But make sure you get your copy because seriously, everybody, there's a young man in Atlanta. And I tell you, he tells me he plays it every single day. So thank you, Terrence. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate that. And there are many, many people that I have sent copies to all across the country, everybody. So God has, he has just really blessed the CD. He has. Thank you so much, Pastor Mentor. Thank you for blessing all of us. Continue to tell everybody about this man called Jesus. Continue to, 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 to let people know that we can do nothing, everybody. We can do nothing without God. We can't even wake up in the morning. You can't turn yourself at night, everybody. You can't even take the next breath. So Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for being good to us. And God, we know that even during this pandemic, we know that you are still, you're still in control. And we thank you, God. We thank you for, for just being here for us. And I want to encourage those of you that have not been vaccinated. I know that it is your choice to get vaccinated, but I want to encourage you to do it. You know, I, I, I always tell everybody, I want to leave here when God says so. I don't want to leave this earth because I didn't take the time to do what I needed to do, right? Because everybody, this Delta variant is also infecting those of us who have taken our shots. So you may not die if you get vaccinated and if you do get COVID. So everybody, I'm just saying, it is your choice. Nobody can make you do it. Nobody can make you do it. But I'm just telling you, if you want to stay here with your families and your friends a little while longer, I would suggest to you, go and get vaccinated. Everybody, thank you all so, so very much. I appreciate all of you that are on my site. Again, this is a 24-hour station. We don't ever, ever shut down. We just add new music. And we have hundreds of songs that need to be added. Hundreds, everybody. That's how much music we have. So we're putting in music all this week. So you're going to probably hear songs you have not heard. But again, thank you to all of you that listen. Thank you to all of you that pray for this station. And thank you to all of you who have been a blessing. I, I, I don't want to ever, ever um, not thank all of you. There are many of you who have sent money to me, and you've sent more than once. Uh, my friend Larky, who I know is listening, that girl has truly blessed Sharon Rucker. All right, everybody? She, she, she just has blessed me. Um, and I thank you, Lord. I thank you to all of you that have sent money for the station just to be a blessing because there are a lot of things that go on with me doing what I do with this station. A lot of fees and regulations. Uh, we have to pay for a lot of things. But you know what, everybody? I've been doing this since January the 1st of 2010. And guess what? It's never, ever, ever been a strain because of people like you and because of this man called Jesus. All right? Thank you, everybody. Be blessed out there. Make sure you take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay masked up. And, again, if anybody wants to volunteer for next week, now, here's what we've been doing. If we don't get a volunteer for next week, guess what we do now? We got something going on, everybody. We call in. I have people calling in and reading their favorite scripture. That's all you have to do. I put the number out there for you, and all you have to do is call in, read your favorite scripture, and hang up. So if I don't get a volunteer by Sunday night, I used to give you all the 6 p.m. on Sunday. If I don't, then I will let you know we don't have a volunteer. All you have to do next Monday is just call in and give us 
a scripture because so many people are enjoying doing this. I had no idea, but listen, I would love to have somebody call in and give us a message. But if you don't, if we don't get, if we don't get anybody, then that's what we will do next Monday. All you have to do, find your favorite scripture or a scripture that you like and just call in and just read it. All right. Everybody be safe out there. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Be a blessing to somebody and pray for people. You don't have to know people to pray for them. All right. Ask God to bless people. Ask God to find somebody a home. To get somebody off the street. To feed somebody. To heal somebody's body. Because listen, he's a healer. He's a healer, everybody. Not only is he a savior, but he's a healer. Be blessed, everybody, and good night.